Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at movement. So first things first, I'll just show you what we're going to end up doing. So I've got a camera attached to an object and I can look around. I can also move around using the W, A, S and D keys. So looking into our script, we've got a simple bit here and all it uses is the physics within Unity. So first things first, we've got a variable of speed, which you can set to whatever you want. I've got it as an integer of five. And then we've got a function fixed update and it uses fixed update because update doesn't always pick up all of the physics movements. So if you use it in fixed update, it picks up everything to do with the rigid bodies and physics. So moving on down, we've got an if statement, which has if input.getButton vertical or input.getButton horizontal, which are set by Unity as a default, then we create a variable of my velocity, which equals our forward transform multiplied by the speed that we have set up here multiplied by the amount that we are pressing, whether it's forwards or backwards, plus our right transform, because you can only use right, multiplied by our speed, multiplied by the horizontal axis. So if you're pressing W, you get a positive for vertical. If you, get, if you press S, you get a negative for vertical. So then that changes the direction that we're looking in, whether it's forward or backwards. And same with the right or left, if you press A, you go left because it's negative or right. And if you press D, you go right. And then we have the rigid body of the object that we have. That's velocity x is equal to the velocity x of my velocity variable that we set here. And then the z is set to the velocity z of our variable that we set here. And that's it's as simple as that. Just a little bit of setting up. Inside the editor, we have a object here that has a camera attached to it which I've placed just about at the head of where the capsule is. And that has a mouse look script, which is added using assets, import package, and character controllers. And then you can add it by going add component, camera control, and it's inside there as mouse look. And you set that to Y for the camera, and you add another one to our player object, and you set it as X. I've also got a rigid body attached to our capsule, which has its rotations frozen, inside constraints and then I've also got our player movement script there which you can set the speed however you want. So thanks for watching guys I hope that's been useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial.